this rom has been improved like when it was released with android 12 that was quite good and maybe when i use this custom when android 8 or android 9 times it was good too but android 12 they changed some things but in android 13 this is actually quite impressive why as well talk about all these things in this video yes we are talking about superior os based on android 13 the first look hands-on is what we have i'm using official version which is available for redmi note 10 pro and some other devices link for all the official supported devices is already available in the description this room does not come with the pixel launcher pre-installed they have their own launcher which includes the option for all apps themed icons double tap gesture google search bar and some of the basic options as expectedly already present here if you if you like this launcher you might love this thing too because this is quite impressive we have this all apps themed icons option in my opinion this is quite good if you are using those apps which have the themed icons enabled this will give you a very good look if i move on to the gaming options you can see the new game space is already included i'm using android 13 and you need this game space it's already present here compared to the normal gaming dashboard which you have in google pixel device Devices. it's better than that according to some of the users and unfortunately it does not include the notification mode option which is available in evolution xos but that's absolutely fine superior lab which is basically a hub of customization is changed a lot if you compare it with android 12 android 12.1 times at least they change something in ui and from my personal opinion i think so it's looking super good all those features are already included status bar etc we'll talk about all these features as quickly as possible some status bar customizations of course some network traffic indicator which is a quite interesting thing we have status bar items with which you can enable or disable from settings 4g icon and some of the things here and there about some status bar customizations we also have some quick settings related options available for you too like auto brightness icon where you can adjust the brightness sliders position to top or to bottom or as a quick quick settings shortcut for that brightness slider these three things which you can customize if you want to it's up to you alongside all these quick settings customizations if i move on to the buttons option we have two options wake your device from volume keys or we have the playback control option available which is a super useful thing in some cases navigation bar does not have any major tweaks but if you move on to the system navigation options and just navigation you have the option to hide the pill not the space if you hide the pill space will be automatically hidden but if you enable the pill but you want to hide the space you can't do that unfortunately some lock screen customizations only have the lock screen charging info yes it's quite useful by the way only this option is included power menu also has the advanced restart option which is a very useful thing especially if you are a custom room user you definitely need this thing it's already present by default no need to worry about that if i move on to the theming section here we have some of the options related to fonts where we have a lot of font options and the thing is it's actually same the same things which you have available in many custom rooms like in theming options we have icon bag options and same icon bag options are available in other custom rooms too we have a pui we have signal icons wi-fi icons icon shape etc all those things as expectedly are already present you can see things are basically same no major changes in notification section we have in call vibration options which actually is so useful in my case i always use this feature it's already present so that's good that's a plus point alongside with these notification customizations which we just saw in right now here we also have some miscellaneous options which means ignore window secure flags which will remove the restriction screenshot and screen record restriction from some of the apps like in chrome incognito mode and some banking apps so yes this might be useful in that case too alongside that this room is quite good in the terms of performance it's up to you it's optional if you want to install this thing or not i'm not forcing anyone i'm not saying that you need to install this thing or not it's up to you it's totally up to you link is already available in the description this was all from today's short and simple video if you like this video don't forget to like and share this also if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel a lot of android 13 based custom videos are coming very very soon so stay tuned and goodbye